Hi everyone and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today is a miserable, wet, rainy day, so I thought I'd make cinnamon rolls to cheer everybody up. Now, if you're gonna to go to the trouble of making cinnamon rolls, you might as well make the best cinnamon rolls in the world. So I'm gonna show you the most delicious cinnamon roll recipe, sticky and gooey and an absolute delight. Come with me, I'll show you how. I'm just going to melt one cup of butter in a medium sized pan and I'm going to add one cup of soft brown sugar and as that melts I'm just going to whisk it together. Now as that blends together I'm getting a lovely thick toffee sauce which is for the top of our cinnamon buns. I'm just going to add three quarters of a cup of crushed or coarsely chopped pecan nuts. Mix that through very briefly until we've got this lovely thick pecan caramel sauce. Now in a large oven baking tray, we're just going to take a knob of butter and just take it and rub the inside of the baking tray with that. Then we're just going to take our caramel sauce and pour that into the bottom of the tray. If you haven't got one of these baking trays big enough, you can always get those little disposable ones the supermarkets sell. There's a delicious smell coming off of that and we're just going to set that aside now to cool down while we prepare the rest of the cinnamon rolls. So now we're going to make the filling for our cinnamon rolls. We'll need another three quarter cup of raw sugar and I want a good heat tablespoon of cinnamon. Lots of flavour. I've got half a cup of pecans. Now I'm a little bit short of pecans so I'm just going to add a handful of walnuts in there as well. Um, you can clearly use walnuts or pecans for this recipe. And then half a cup of raisins and just take a wooden spoon and blend those all together. So there we've got that lovely cinnamon, sugar, and fruit and nut mixture. Just set that aside now, we're gonna make the dough. So into a mixing bowl, we've got three and a half cups of plain all-purpose flour. I'm gonna put a quarter of a cup of white sugar into that, and half a cup of warm water, half a cup of warm milk, I'm going to add two lightly beaten eggs into the mixture. One teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of butter, and two teaspoons of instant yeast. Now if you haven't got instant yeast, you have to activate the yeast, just follow the instructions on the packet. Then I'm just going to take that and put that in the mixer and let that mix away for 10 minutes. Now at the halfway mark, you might need to knock your dough down into the center using a, a spatula. And the dough should be quite wet. You can add up to a quarter of a cup of extra flour, a tablespoon at a time if you need to, but mine seems fine at the moment. So after 10 minutes, we've got this lovely elastic buttery dough, which we're just gonna find a warm spot in the house. We'll put a damp cloth over the top of it and leave it for an hour and a half until it's doubled in size. Okay, so once your dough has doubled in size, we're just gonna punch that down, knock the air out of it, and then turn that out onto a floured surface. So I'm just gonna take uh, a handful of flour here, flour the surface, and pop that dough down. Now you can see that dough is lovely and soft. It's got a sheen to it, but it's easy to handle. It's slightly sticky. So we're just going to now roll that out. I want to, you can almost push it out. I'm gonna roll that out to a 14 by 18 inch square. That's a 45 by 35 centimeter. Actually, you'll see that that barely needs rolling out at all. You can just almost pull that out to size to a nice square, like so. When you've got the desired size, we're just gonna take some melted butter. I've got half a cup of melted butter here, and I'm just going to paint over the surface and now we want to take the cinnamon and sugar mixture that we made earlier on, and we're just going to sprinkle that as evenly as we can over the surface of the, of the dough. So once you're happy with that cover, we're just going to roll this up now. Just roll, try and evenly roll it up. And we can just seal along that edge with a little extra butter. Now we've got our cinnamon roll here and I want to cut this into about 16 even pieces. Now we're just gonna brush these over again with butter. 
Just brush the surface lightly. This is to help them uh, separate in the pan. And then get our baking tray earlier that we've got our sticky toffee in the bottom of and lay these pieces, just round them over and evenly distribute them across the bottom of the baking tray. So then I've laid the cinnamon rolls down in the pan and I've evenly spaced them. I actually use 15, not 16, so try and cut it into 15. Now we're just going to cover those again for another hour and let them rise. So there you go, they've been an hour now and they've filled up the tray. All the sticky toffee there in the middle is going to sort of seep over the top when we take them out. I preheated an oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 190 degrees Celsius. I'm going to pop those in there for 25 minutes to 30 minutes until they're cooked off. So there they are, just 20 minutes in my oven. I've taken them out now and I'm just going to let them cool for two or three minutes before I turn them out. Okay, we're going to tip these cinnamon buns out now. I'm going to use a cookie tray and just pop that on there. And I've got a couple of uh, heat-proof gloves and I'm just going to turn that over and wait and let those cinnamon buns drop out onto the cookie tray. And there you have the cinnamon buns. Look at those. I've got a lot of the sticky sauce in here which I'm just going to use a spatula to scrape off and then place all that, I don't want to waste any of this, so we're going to put it all on top of the buns. But there they are, beautiful, sticky, sweet cinnamon rolls. Now I'm going to give this a try. You'll have to try it at home. So we're just going to give this a try now, see if it's delicious. That's a delicious bun. The pastry is soft and buttery and it's just the right sweetness. Give this a try at home. Uh, let's uh, get some comments down below guys if you're interested and stay in touch. I'll put my subscription button here and see you in the next video. Be good. See you then. Hi and a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a mango ice cream, a delicious ice cream without the need for all the complicated equipment. So let's take a look. Ha, 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 ha.